Shalom uvracha. Those are, those are very hard hours. We're experiencing very great challenges. It's not a simple thing that the world is going through when uh, people are going through so many difficulties in their personal lives. And we must be very, very strong about holding hands together. We think to ourselves that the challenges and difficulties that the world is experiencing are part of a godly plan and that there is nothing we can do and we're waiting for a salvation and for a redemption to come. But the truth is that none of us are allowed to drop the full responsibility of the sake and happiness and stability of our surroundings. You must remember that the Creator gave you eyes for you to see and look and observe and find things that you should correct with the hands that He gave you. For that He gave you hands, for you to do things with them. He gave you ears that hears things, for you to pay attention to the things you hear, for you to take responsibility on those thoughts that you have in your mind, to execute with your health, with your power, with your energy, with your sources, to go and save the life of a person, to back up a person in need. You have a neighbor that is poor, you see his poverty. You have a broken woman in your neighborhood that you see her struggle, that you see her pain, that you see how lost she is. You cannot allow yourself to let them be and walk in their darkness. You cannot allow a barefoot, naked person to walk in the street and not to cover him. A poor person that you know that struggles. Have you ever been in that situation that you didn't have food to eat, that you didn't know how to buy food for the weekend for your family? To know that you're coming back home with no food to put on the table of your children, that you're not sure if they ate, if you don't know what there is in the refrigerator and you don't know how to supply, how to bring, how to cover them, how to buy new shoes for your children for the winter. Every person who went through those difficulties, weekends alone, darkness, holidays alone, people that don't find their match and spending hours and nights and, and weeks and, and years alone in their own houses with broken hearts, tearing eyes. For you the holidays are wonderful days and celebration with your family. There are people that for them the holidays are the worst nightmares, worse than the darkest nights. They need to face their loneliness, their worst fears, their broken heart. Every weekend is a nightmare. Every holiday is a nightmare. And it's our responsibility to break through those curtains of separation and to go into those people's houses, into their hearts and to give them a hand. If you have a family, you need to find ways. It doesn't mean that now you need to open your house and destroy your own house for the sake of someone else. But you need to show that you care. If you can give five dollars, you need to give five dollars. If you can give one hour, you need to give one hour. If you don't have one hour, give 30 minutes. Don't have 30, give 10. You don't have 10, you have one minute, you can send a, 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 a WhatsApp, a text, a, 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 an SMS message to a person, tell him, hey brother, I care for you. How are you doing? I was just, I was just thinking about you. You don't have a minute, you have 10 seconds, you can send a text. You can send a text to your mother, to your uncle, to your great nanny, to your neighbor. You can wake up your, your, your child to, to make a phone call to his friend. You can give him your mobile when you rest in the afternoon and tell him, you know what, do you have some friend that might be lonely? Call him, invite him. 
You need to do whatever you're able to do. But you cannot not do what you can do. You cannot drop the responsibility to say, no, Hashem will do it. Yeah, Hashem is on top of everything. Hashem put us in charge in this world. Hashem sent us here as messengers for us to deliver the light and to fight for the weak and to protect the broken ones and to defend the ones that are in need and to supply and to feed them, to cover them, to make sure that their houses will be warm, that they will be happy, that they will not lack a thing. It's your responsibility to see what's going on around you. If you see a person that is naked, you must cover him. You see a person that is cold, you must make sure that he will be warm. He doesn't have a house, you need to find him a shelter. And if you're not able to do so, you must do something. You need to call someone else. You need to call some people. You need to put a sign. You need to pray for him. If you don't have the ability to work or to do, you need to pray. So you need to call. You need to call Hashem. You need to send your prayers for that person to express your heart. For that you have a heart. If you don't want your heart to be taken away for you, from you, your eyes to be taken away from you, your hands to be taken away from you, you need to use them properly for the purpose that the Creator gave them to you, for you to see what needs correction. When you say blessings for the food, you're correcting the food. When you say blessings for every single thing you do, you're correcting. You're completing the creation with your blessings, with, your, with the way that you attach physicality to spirituality. When you remind yourself that that fruit is the outcome of the will of Hashem, of the Creator, by that you're correcting that fruit. You're correcting a section in the world. When you see a poor person and you give him charity, when you see a person in need and you give him the right advice, you are correcting and completing the creation in the way that the Creator designed and wanted you to do, to succeed, to accomplish. And you need to be super strong and not to doubt your mission. And you need to call yourself to be that officer, to be that commander, to be that righteous person, to go and change the world. You are that agent and, and messenger of Hashem. You are that soldier. You are that trooper. You are the special agent of Hashem in your hometown, in your area, for your surroundings, for your loved ones, for your neighbor, for the poor ones of your city. You are the one. You cannot accept, expect someone else to do your job. If he opened your eyes to see something, you have something to do about it. If you opened your ears or your heart to feel, you have a big responsibility. Big responsibility. And not only for people, also for animals, also for the trees, for the grass, for the sky, for the weather, for the world, for different countries, different populations of people with different cultures, different religions. You need to care for all. That's our mission. That's how we're going to bring and channel bright light to the world. By loving and unconditional love, supporting, without compromising and being lazy, doing the best that we can for every person, for every, every creation of God to love and respect and help and cherish every moment and to do the best that we can using our sources, our powers. And may Hashem bless us all to see the great success of our wonderful actions in our days. Amen.